Good afternoon, Capricorn, and welcome to my channel. This is the Oracle of Zoraya Utranaya, and today I will be doing a reading for you for the new moon in Taurus that is happening on Tuesday, May the 7th, 2024. I've already cut your decks and I've shuffled them all twice, utilizing the numerology of the date 0507. 2024, which equals up to 20, and when reduced, equals 2. So let's dive right in. Okay, the same starting card as Taurus. We have the Ace of Swords. Okay, so the Ace of Swords can signify um, perhaps this new moon in Taurus is allowing you to have some clarity with respect to some sort of situation that you might be um, endearing at the, enduring at the moment. Okay, or perhaps you are getting laser-like focus with respect to some sort of project or some sort of endeavor that you are pursuing. Okay, now the Ace of Swords can signify is a lesser uh, representation of the Justice card. Okay, so maybe there could be some karmic justice coming in um, and maybe some balancing out of uh, situations. Okay, now... Whenever I think of balance, I think about the scales of justice. And so when I think about the scales of justice, I also think about the Egyptian goddess and concept of Ma'at. Now Ma'at, uh, she is a goddess that weighs your heart against a feather after you die. Okay. Now, if your heart is lighter than a feather, that means you've led a very pure life. You've led with your heart and it determines the direction you go in the afterlife. And if your heart is heavier than a feather, that also uh, indicates that perhaps you weren't as pure and you were not as didn't lead a life uh, with pure intentions. And that would determine also the direction that you go in the afterlife. Okay, so we want to make sure that as we're stepping into these new paradigms, we are leading with our heart. We are being as clear with our intentions as possible. We are putting our intentions as clearly out into the universe as possible. And we are really focused on how we can develop ourselves into our, our full actualization. Okay, the sword also to me represents like the chakra system and the kundalini rising. Okay, Shatki meeting her Shiva up at the crown chakra, integration of both feminine and masculine aspects of ourselves. So that is more of the balance that I was talking about before. Okay, and this can also be new ways of thinking. Okay, a lot of truths are going to be coming out a lot more. Uh, especially when we have the sun uh, with conjunct, uh, like it's going to be still in conjunction with Uranus and with Jupiter and Venus is going to be put in there. It's going to be a lot more truth coming out, a lot more. Uh, and that's going to be like really turning our worlds upside down. So there's going to be new like uh, paradigm shifts and uh, like our reality is going to become different. We already live in an upside down world as it is, but uh, new ways of thinking and like trusting in the process, okay? Sorry, I just need a little bit here. Then we have the Six of Cups. This is a brand new deck, by the way. So I'm still uh, learning the new imagery here. So I did read some of the, the, um, the guidebook. And like if you see, there's little tiny animals here. Each of these things, the little intricacies um, in this card actually have symbolisms and meanings. So as a, I'll, I'll go through it a little bit more later, but I'll just read it with my intuition right now and uh, as like uh, compared to the original Rider weight deck, okay? So new ways of thinking. And I think, my dear Capricorn, you are yearning for how things were in the past. Okay, the six of coins can be ha uh, considered a card that represents happy memories and it can signify blessings coming in. And so that can, when we put these two together here, okay, uh, new ways of thinking and karmic justice, karmic rewards can be blessings coming in for you. Okay, so and there could be some news coming in with like and so considering this is a sword card as well, this can also be news coming in for you, a start of something new, right? The ace. And what if this is news coming in with respect to something new, uh, perhaps uh, it might be attached to something that you have been working on in the past. Okay. Now, the six of cups can signify soul tribes or soulmates. 
And I will tell you, even from personal experience, as you start elevating in consciousness, um, just, uh, it would depend on how fast you're elevating. And some people are actually like quantum leaping into different levels of consciousness and timelines and stuff like that. So people might be coming in and out of your life really quickly. Okay. And you know, if you've been feeling isolated and then you, you start fitting in with some people or a group of people and you really resonate with them and you're grateful that you finally like have a group or a crew and then suddenly they don't resonate with you anymore or like they don't talk to you anymore. And like, I, don't get mad. And like, like we are elevating so fast that, you know, people that we may have really resonated with and got along with one day might not like the next because of our elevation and consciousness okay so just be grateful for what they have brought into you like a lot of the times they are there to integrate and to show you lessons or to see if you've learned the lessons in the past before um and just manifesting themselves differently um or just just like micro lessons for you to level up even faster um but take it as it comes and give gratitude for the the space that they had uh, held for you at that time, okay? Um, but what I am intuitively getting for you, my dear Capricorn, is that yes, there are a lot of changes and new ways of thinking coming in and you are just being really reminiscent and yearning for times past, the simpler times and the, like, the times before 2019, right? Remember the 80s, how like, how innocent it was in the 90s and stuff like that but you know what technically though we didn't have the internet at that point right so all of this stuff was still going on behind the scenes we just didn't know about it we were being ignorant we didn't know about it but now with the internet and, and how easy it is and fast it is to share information worldwide the the level of uh, elevation of consciousness and uh like Stepping into the knowing is really an awakening is very amplified and it's increasing at an exponential level because of the internet. Okay, so just know that even though we do have happy memories of times past, all of these things were still going on behind the scenes. But yes, sometimes ignorance can be bliss, isn't it? All right. And then we have the King of Pentacles. So now what I'm getting is that there's going to be some new beginnings, some new information coming in, some new ways of thinking coming in based on something that you have done in the past that is going to help you establish yourself and build a solid foundation moving forward. The new moon in Taurus. So Taurus is all about money. It's all about finances. It's about food and indulgences and pleasures and hedonism. It's also about farming, uh, anything to do with our, our senses. Venus rules Taurus, so beauty and relationships as well. And the king of pentacles is the Taurus card. Okay, now Taurus uh, is the most stubborn out of all of the zodiac signs. And he is very reluctant to try new things because whatever, he has become quite wealthy and quite comfortable and he is very wary to try new things because he is like, only likes to utilize the tried and true methods. Okay, but the world is changing. It is no longer the world that we once loved. Okay, we are stepping into a new paradigm and we are being called to do our research and, um, and, uh, seek out information that is new with respects to finances. Okay, the, the world is changing. We are in the midst of a financial reset. Okay, the American dollar is losing its hegemony worldwide, it is losing its world reserve currency status, and there is a new system coming in. Okay, the BRICS nations, Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa, Saudi Arabia has joined now, Iran has joined. There's a lot of other countries that are joining. I think it'll be Egypt joined as well. They are all looking to dethrone America as the, as the petrodollar and as the world reserve currency. The reason why they are the world reserve currency is because they make all the countries all around the world trade and, and hold, they buy them, they make all the countries around the world buy their dollars and um, they're, they're only allowed to use them to trade in American dollars. Like they can only trade commodities and things like that in American dollars. And this is what's propped up America for so long. 
the dollar's not backed by gold, okay, and the, now the new system is coming in, it's going to be commodity backed, it's going to be resource backed, it's going to be backed by gold, okay, and other, other commodities, okay, and they want to start using their own currencies to trade. So this is going to dethrone the, the American dollar from being the hegemon of the world, okay. Now, if you, if you, I'm a geek, so I know all this stuff. So, but if you want to look up the, the lifespan of global reserve currency, you look it up on Google, there's a nice little graph that shows you like from, from the 1500s, Spain, Portugal, France, uh, I believe, and like uh, the Great Britain were the, um, the global reserve currencies of the past. And each of those, the lifespans last from 80 to 100 years. And now we are being, we're right at the end of that. Okay, and this new system is going to be digital as well. So looking at stable coins, looking at different cryptocurrencies that have use case and um, that can provide liquidity between countries. Okay, but also looking at physical commodities like tangible items like gold and silver and platinum. But you need to do your research here. And you have to think outside the box and not just not just feel comfortable in the strategies that you have used before in with respects to making money and, and holding on to your wealth and having a store of value because the system is not what we are used to, okay? The system is changing. With the Ace of Swords, we have the Seven of Pentacles, okay? The Seven of Pentacles is encouraging you to analyze where your money is or analyze what is working for you and what is not okay now also know that the banks are very unstable right now and a lot of them are probably going to uh, default and crash so just keep in mind that a lot of the times the united states or the countries around the world have bailed in their banks but now a lot of the times they're going to be bailing no, they bailed out the banks and now they're the banks are going to be using bail-ins which utilizes their own customers money to uh to help them okay and then your money is not going to be there the fractional reserve banking system is about the banks only needing to hold a little tiny little fraction of what you deposit and then as soon as you put money in they lend it out to some other people like it's all debt based system then they can just print more money so this is not sustainable so look at where your money is and this is about wherever you're putting your energy or is the juice worth the squeeze like are you getting out the same or better than the energy that you're putting in. It's about reciproci recipro reciprocity, right? Are you getting out of a situation an equal or better something? And is it worth the energy that you're putting in? Okay. So you might wanna be looking at where your money is and seeking out new avenues to put your money in either as a store of value or, or in order to to, as an investment, okay. With the Six of Cups, we have the Two of Wands. Okay, so this the story of the Two of Wands here, okay, yeah, so if this is together, we are yearning for uh, like the past, but now we're also, we are in the know, we are, aware and we are awake and we are wondering what is coming up next okay considering what what was transpiring since 2020 we are wondering what's going to go happen in the world next and this isn't this is uh like i'm getting intuitively that you you need to pay attention to what is going on geopolitically in order to stay on top of uh what is happening because everything is connected Okay, and, and especially with respect to your money, right, and to your finances, the king of pentacles, right, because there's, there's a new paradigm coming in, all right, so paying attention to what is going on globally, the wars, the instability, the, 
the new uh, sicknesses that they are saying are coming around, all the weather events that are man-made or not. So, and a lot of these things are distractions. When they want you to look this way, you need to look that way. Because a lot of these things, they're going to be putting some sort of black swan event in order to usher in this new financial system. So you need to start paying attention to what is going on around the world. Okay, that's not normally what I get with this card, but that is what I'm getting with this card. Now, don't be too distracted with your happy memories. Like, obviously, enjoy your happy memories, but don't be complacent and resentful and, and be stuck in the past that you're not able to see what's going on right now because you're going to lose the opportunity. There's this is like a one in a lifetime opportunity to create generational wealth that you can build a solid foundation for your family for the rest of their lives. This transition to blockchain and digital currency and finance. So you need to do your research. Okay. <sighs> yeah. All right. The distractions. <laughs> Can't make this stuff up. So... We have this with the King of Pentacles here, okay? And, you know, despite that there might be some um, reluctance to seek out new avenues to do things because you're, you're very stuck in your ways and you would just prefer to do things that have worked all the time, there are a lot of options and a lot of different avenues you can take to start educating yourself. Uh, you can start looking at videos like so that's how during the pandemic that's how i started learning about finances and cryptocurrency i didn't even understand any of the language i just started watching like like i was laid off at the time too so i just watched crypto videos all day long and terror videos and this is how i learned okay so there's a lot of different avenues that you can take to navigate this way forward okay listening to podcasts as well watching finance videos, watching different things on Twitter, watching different things uh, on the internet is a very vast resource, okay? I would stay away from mainstream media because they're going to start distracting you with different things, okay? Like you're going to be living in a fog. Keep your eye on what their narratives are, but you want to make sure that you're looking the other way when they tell you to look the one way, okay? I'm like really out of breath here. But there's not just only one way to make money either, right? So you want to make sure that you are not putting all of your eggs in one basket, right? And I'm sure you know that, Capricorn. Um, so do your due diligence, do your research, and try to um, diversify. That way you are safe uh, no matter what happens, okay? Now we're going to end off the reading with, um, I'm going to pull a card from the Sufi, Sufi Wisdom Oracle. And then we'll end right there. So self-creation, be the author of your own life. Excuse me. I'm so thirsty. Sorry, here we go. Thanks for your patience. Here we are. That's a nice little card, huh? I am not one who is weak against the turn of destiny. I will undo the wheel of heaven if it turns against my wish. Mm. There are things in life that are in our control and those which are not. Inner peace and outer effectiveness come to those who can distinguish between the two. When we feel weak in the face of that brings us wait, when we feel weak in the face of that which brings of that which we can change, we fall short of our dreams. By realizing we can adjust ourselves to what happens to us in life, we can take charge of determining our own response to our reality in a creative way. Hafiz's compassionate guidance tells you not to dwell on the past, <laughs> the past memories, or worry about the future. Being the author of your life means concentrating on the present moment. You can change your perception. You can do something different, <laughs> the King of Pentacles. Try learning a new skill instead of following a routine. This means setting aside how you think things should be, for it is not helpful to focus on what might have been if things were different. Dear one, do not be overly attached to things you cannot change. 
Focusing on the paths of others does not bring you the inner peace of personal accomplishment. Touch the creative spark within and you and uh, touch the creative spark within you and feel how renewing it is to connect with your inner innocence and purity. By trusting the flow, you will be able to envision new possibilities and create a world of your own. Let the universal energy guide you towards a creative power you may never have imagined you could share. The mantra for this new moon for you, my dear Capricorn, is I am determined to adjust myself to what is not in my control and change what I am able to change to create my desired life. Very powerful. If this reading resonated with you, my dear, dear Capricorn, please hit that like button to subscribe to my channel. That is something that you like to do. You can also hit that bell notification to let you know when I release new videos. And if you want a more holistic approach as to what is going on and what kind of energies you can tap into during this new moon in Taurus, uh, please not only just check out your sun sign, but also your moon, your rising, and your Venus. I'm truly grateful for your energy, my dear Capricorn. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a pleasant and wonderful new moon.